Before you begin to cook a cauliflower, you need to choose the right one. The centre should be creamy in colour and the florets tight and firm. The leaves should look proud and perky, not drab and droopy. To prepare the cauliflower, first take off most of the outer stalks, leaving just a few tender ones. After that, slice off the stalk at the base. Then use a saucepan where it fits snugly and place it on the hob. Pour in about 2.5 centimetres of boiling water. What this means is that the toughest part of the cauliflower at the base sits in the water and the tenderest part cooks in the steam. Then pop in a bay leaf, which is a very English addition, and it does impart its own fragrance. After that, a sprinkling of salt, and finally, a few gratings of nutmeg over the surface. This also has an affinity with cauliflower. Now put a lid on and simmer the cauliflower for about four to five minutes for a small one, or six to seven for a medium or large one. To test when it's ready, Use a skewer, and the worst thing you can do is overcook it, so please don't do that. It needs to feel firm, and it's better to air on undercooking if it's going to be put under the grill or have any more cooking. When it's done, drain it in a colander. Then turn the cauliflower upside down on a board, and you will see clearly how to separate the individual florets because you can see the stalk. So just cut each one through the stalk and that's how to cook the perfect cauliflower. Another way of cooking cauliflower is to roast it in the oven, separating the florets whilst it's still raw and tossing them in a mixture of crushed garlic and coriander seeds. You'll find the recipe for this online. <laughs>